Hi, I'm Roxy, and I've been creating content for the past nine years here on YouTube. I first started my blog, then it led into a YouTube channel, um, which then I had the opportunity to style Bethany Moda for her show on Awesomeness TV called Make Me Over. That was all original content um, through Awesomeness TV. And um, I have got married, had two beautiful babies, and in all that time, we managed to buy a multi-unit complex and we are hoping to expand. So what made you want to do an influencer tell -all? Um, This was an idea that I've been having for years. Um, I've been wanting to do this project for so long. Um, I feel like Instagrammers, YouTubers, um, only share what they want you to see so everything might look picture perfect. Um, and even when like, you know, people vlog every day, but they only show you 20 minutes, again, of what they want you to see. So I kind of wanted to show everything, the behind the scenes, the real and the raw. So how have you made this a career? Um, for the past nine years, I have been making videos, um, whether that be on my channel or for another network. I have made videos for um, networks such as Ostra, um, Awesomeness TV. Um, I have collaborated with Bethany Moda. And with all that, I have had the opportunity to do big campaigns on my own YouTube channel with um, brands such as Hallmark, um, Target, and um, McDonald's. So I've really just tried to make sure that, you know, since I've been on YouTube, I really have done some stuff, not just like created videos for the fun. For someone watching at home, what do you mean you create videos for these brands? Um, well, there's two different ways. Um, one way could be either a network hiring me as like talent, um, and I would be on one of their videos for their channel, and they would pay me like basically a day rate, or um, or you know a brand directly reaching out to me to put their product on my channel. And then, um, or uh, in the past, I also was a stylist for um, a show called Make Me Over. It was an original um, show created by Awestruck. And um, they paid me as like a talent stylist to style the girls for the network. So many different ways. Hi, um, can I get a grande ice vanilla latte with almond milk? Grande ice vanilla latte with almond milk. Anything else? Yes, can I also get, did you, you said a hot, was it hot or cold? Uh, ice. Can I also get a um, ice uh, Americano, uh, is that it? Yeah. What size? Um, a grande, please. Grande iced Americano, anything else? So how was YouTube back then versus today? Oh my God, it was so different. Um, YouTube back then, um, obviously there wasn't many beauty vloggers. There was actually a few beauty vloggers, but hardly any fashion vloggers. So if you really just put in the work and created videos, you know, and you really tried hard, like you were getting views. Um, now I feel like the market is oversaturated um, everywhere on Instagram, YouTube, that it's just really hard 
to get noticed, let alone grow, um, which is why I think I should start TikTok because I heard everybody's going viral on TikTok. I'm like, this video is like five seconds. How are you going viral? But maybe I'll join TikTok. Were sponsorships a thing back then and did you ever take them? Um, back then, sponsorships on YouTube were actually really hard to even come by. Um, I feel like brands didn't really even know that like YouTuber, YouTubers were like influential people. Um, now for the larger YouTubers that were huge back then, um, if they did take a sponsorship, they were considered a sellout. Like straight up the viewers, their fans would just be like, you're a sellout. Um, now, however, in 2020, everybody is doing brand sponsorships. Like that is how most of us make our money because there is no more money in the ad revenue and the viewership because unless you're getting millions and millions of views, um, you're not making that much money on YouTube anymore. So brand sponsorships now in 2020 are a thing and um, everybody's doing them. And that's across the board everywhere, like Instagram. I mean, everybody is doing um, brand sponsorships. Super frizzy and in that, like up here, like doing. So since the market is always saturated now, would you say it's harder for someone to become an influencer? Um, it's not harder. Um, Anybody that wants to become an influencer, YouTuber, Instagrammer, TikToker, whatever you want to call them, um, it's not harder. You just have to have strategy in 2020. So um, by all means, there is plenty of room for everyone. So what do you want people to take away from this series? Um, mostly women, girls. I want them to feel empowered to believe in themselves and know that they can have it all. Um, if you want that life, whatever that might mean to you, um, if it's get married, have kids, travel the world, have your dream home, you can do it. You just have to work very, very hard and it could be yours. It could be yours if you just work really hard. I think that was like kind of perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was really smooth.